Hello guys, welcome to IQ Pop. In this lecture, I will discuss about operating system in short. So, we will find the power button of a laptop, desktop or your mobile phone that it looks like this. So, how does this symbol, symbol comes? This symbol comes basically in combination of 1 and 0. So, this is basically 0 and this is 1. So, 1 means on, 0 means off. So, this power button comes, represents on off, which is represent a function of a switch. Now, when we press the power button, what happens? It initializes the CPU. And the CPU, as soon as it initializes, it generates some clock, uh, you can say signal, okay? Next, what happens? It goes to the so that signal goes to the um, BIOS. BIOS is a ROM chip on the motherboard, and it gets activated, um, and it stores the first instruction to be executed. And it it is the uh, it is having the instructions to run the power on self to start. So, or in short, we call it POST. The function of POST is at the time of uh, starting, checking for errors, of, uh, whether all the hardware, uh, including processor, RAM, and other things are working or in functional functioning condition or not. If there is no error, the BIOS activates the disk drivers because first of all, of all we will need the disk drivers to access the hard disk because, because our operating system is on hard disk and BIOS knows the location of bootstrap of on the hard disk so what is bootstrap? bootstrap is the first instruction uh, of, uh, of our operating system so any operating system starts from the bootstrap so bootstrap uh, is a, a piece of code you can say your program which uh, is uh, stored in hard disk yeah. once uh, the BIOS activates the bootstrap the bootstrap loader loads the OS into memory that is RAM and allow it to begin operation so uh, as soon as uh, you know the if the bootstrap loader loads the operating system into RAM, automatically CPU gets access to the operating system and it starts running and we get the interface. Now, <laughs> uh, here is a relationship between user and uh, you know application software operating system or system soft software and hardware so at the basic on the base level it is at bottom it is hardware so only hardware we can't do anything with it only it is dead material now to control this hardware we need some operating system or system software okay which can control the hardware and coordinate use the hardware among the various application program for various user right and still again okay operating system can do all these things but it it is not enough to provide every individual or specific uh, uh, applications or requirement to the user for that thing user need you know user uh, need specific application say I need a word processor so I need what processing application so we need application softwares on it which um, users are going to be um, handled or use so here user may be some machine some person or other computer also now here you can see, have a look here so we have a hardware we have a operating system installed on the hardware and there is application softwares like say a compiler on text editor database and music player and there is four users 
and user one or instance of one user also you can treat it like that so user one is just uh, accessing uh, that comp compiler program user two is accessing this uh, text editor user three is accessing uh, this database and user four is accessing the music player so four applications softwares can is uh, running on the operating system and operating system is managing uh, from the background how to allow them these four applications on the hardware and whenever these four individual uh, applications need processor or other resource operating system providing that to these applications so that the user never feels that they are you know working on a single operating system and they are having a single processor okay now what is the communication between them so user gives some input to the application program and application program sends output to the user but how application program does this so so what happens when application program gets some input from the user it uh, sends some service request to the operating system and operating system convert this service request or schedule it accordingly as machine instruction and sends to the hardware or corresponding hardware to which it is going to be processed now hardware going to process it and process result it sends back to the operating system and operating system tracks that uh, to his application it should be that service response should be given so against the service request came from the application program operating system sends back the service response and then only the application program gets able to give the output to user yeah. there are four kind of view of, of operating system and uh, first is the resource manager view so it manages all the resource and allocates the resource to different program uh, next is con control program view it execute it allow to execution of programs it controls the input I output devices all these things next is a comment executor program so it uh, allow users to run comments and virtual machine is the latest one that is allow independent virtual machine to run over itself okay like java virtual machine uh, or some other you know, virtual machines are there now what is operating system operating system is a system program which is loaded a runs first on a computer system to allow the user to access the application program and controls and manages all the hardware and software resources what operating systems do recognize input from the keyboard or mouse and sending output to the monitor keeping track of files and directories on the disk controlling peripherals devices such as disk drivers and printers operating system provides a software platform on top of which other application programs run and manage resources and memory so here is one example say um, this is very good one concept cpu can access the cache memory cache uh, basically access or can brings data from ram and if there is you know not enough ram what cpu is thinking that i need uh, say 8 gb of ram but we don't have 8 gb of ram in the system so 4 gb of ram is there so 4 gb remaining ram will be uh, or uh, will not be there. The different physically it is not there. So, port to be space from the hard disk will be treated as a space of RAM, and that space will be you know used in scrapping basis with RAM and hard disk, and that that port to be space on the hard hard disk will be known as virtual memory. So this is the concept of virtual memory. And type of operating system. There is single user, single task operating system like uh, uh, smartphone nowadays. Uh, Smartphone are also changing, and there is multi-user, multi-task operating system like Unix and mainframe operating system. There is real-time operating system, which are used in say control machinery, say airport signaling system, in washing machine, in MR system, in you know, medical devices. 
single user multitasking system like what we are using in our daily life with in our laptop and desktop, Windows, Mac, set, Mac etc. Now, and the basically uh, we can divide the operating system into two classes. One is the GUI based and the CLI based. GUI based operating system gives graphics user interface and CLI gives command line inter interface. So in GUI, we will have everything in pictorial basis or graphics will be there. You can click on it and you can access the things. But in case of CLI, everything you have to do by typing command. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And uh, follow me for uh, getting more lectures like this. Thank you.